All right, Ronald in the building. What's good? What's good? Where where you at, my G? What what part of the world you at right now? I'm in Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm in Baltimore. Okay, that that's where you from because your your phone number showing Maryland. So that's where you from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born and raised. Born and raised. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. While we're on that subject, why don't you go in and uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself, my G? Um, basically, you know, I'm Ron. Um, truck driver. I work for Prime. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, man. I guess, um... Oh, man. <laughs> that boy said I work yeah, for man, Prime just... Inc. <laughs> yeah, Prime Inc. Prime Inc. And, um... Yeah, man, you know, I just be, you know, movie fan, video, PS5, video games guy. Okay, okay. So, you, so, so, Prime Inc., man, is, is that your, is, was that your first stop as far as getting into the industry or, or, or what? No, no, actually, um, just a quick rundown how I got in, Mm -hmm. um, stayed with local guy for a long time. Um, I started with Coke. Local in Baltimore. Okay. Worked there like two years. Not even two years, a year. Now, you, let know, me, you know how you got to get your little now, experience. Now, let me ask you this. With, with Coca-Cola, did you still have to get your Class A in order to run with them? Yeah, Coke, they have a, um, yeah, they have Class A's. Yeah, you have your Class A's. And um, I actually, I had I have a Class A, but I started on the B side because I just wanted to take a job mm-hmm. and fill the vending machines. And then they moved me over to the um, Class A side. Oh, okay, 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 and, uh, okay. Yeah. Did they, did, and then, when, when did, did you went? Did you go to school to get your? Well, hold on. You say you had. All right. So let me make sure I understand this. Let let me let me make yeah. sure I understand this. You had your class B's first, or did you have your class A's all together? Boom! I went to trucking driving school. Got my class A. Okay. But I took the B job because it was like that was the only place they were hiring. I was like, so I knew Coke. And plus, I had an inside information, too. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine worked at Coke. So I knew, my friend always told me, like, just get in wherever you can, right. and they'll transfer you over like it's nothing. Because that's one thing with Coke. You can transfer around in there. Like, once you in, you're in. Oh, okay. So you can transfer around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can say they don't trip about transferring around. So if you see it in, because I think what they, I forgot what the position they called it. But it was a B license, and basically you had the uh, vending machine. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I did that for about three months, and then they asked me to go over to the A side. So okay. I did that for about almost a year, and then I went to Cisco, Cisco Baltimore, Cisco Food Delivery, and I did that for like eight years. I did that a long time. Whoa. What, what, made, you jump, then, what, what made you jump from, uh, what made you jump from Coca-Cola over to, over to Cisco, though? Um, Cisco jumping from Cisco because uh, you know why? Because remember, like I said, they were I was jumping from the B side to the A, and uh-huh. they were messing up with my pay. Oh, like okay. because see, it's different pay rates. So, and they never really gave me a solid position at the A oh. because I worked at a smaller plant. So I would literally come in at like four, right? To do for the day, like wherever they needed me. And at first, you know, I didn't mind because it's like, hey, I got an A. I barely know how to drive. I'm getting my experience driving a tractor trailer. I take it. But after a while, they kept playing with my pay because it's different pay rates when you do a um, when you run in an A and you run in a B route, oh, okay. and it's totally two different pay rates. And they got it confused a lot. And it's like I can't do that. And that's what made me. I never forget this. When I talked to the girl from Cisco, because Cisco has A and B drivers too. Mm-hmm. And I asked her the question, I was like, is it the same? And she was like, whatever you drive, is it the same? And I told her, I'm hooked. You got me. Because that was my biggest discrepancy. Like, I, I hated that. Mm-hmm. Like, I hated, like, my paycheck was so up and down. Right. They one, one, it up. one week it'll be good, and then the next week it'll be salty. I, I, I know the yeah. feeling. Bro. I know the feeling. That up and that up and down paycheck just all right. So you jumped over to Cisco and you rocked out with them for a whole eight years, bro. So the, yeah, mo- the money so was lo- good, man. money was good, <laughs> local, you home every day. What the fuck you get into prime for? Bro, you know what? To be honest with you, I got into it and I'll tell you that that's another what's the name story too, but I got into it just wanting 
to get that that over the road experience because I kind of want to get my own truck. Okay, okay, that's 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 understandable. Yeah, because he, yeah, and I want to get my own truck because he is like, don't get his own. I mean, when you local, yeah, your backing is good, mm-hmm. but it's like you still gotta get that that OTR like that running, getting them sea legs under you, running them long distances. Mm-hmm. So. So I decided to go and take a, go to prime. I mean, I am like it's how how I, much it is a pay cut. Yeah, that's why I was about to ask you how much of a hit that you took on that. Actually, yeah, because see, right now this is the one thing too. I really don't know because when I went to prime, mm-hmm. I started in June. I got into an accident. Somebody ran into me, bro. I broke my wrist. What? Why you was at prime? Yeah, and I because I was doing my training. Because see, since I had an A license. Mm-hmm. They told me since I didn't have over, mm, I didn't have over the oh, road. You still had to go out me, with training with them. Yeah, but I only had to do like three thousand miles or something like that. Oh, but wait a minute! And, with um, that, with that accident though, did that did that set you back? Nah, because I'm not at fault. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, cool. I got clear. Yeah, yeah, because he wrote a ticket right on the site. Yeah, homie ran into me. Okay, okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, that's one thing too. Yeah, so. I mean, I haven't even gotten back yet. I'm still, I'm still out. Well, you still, oh, so you, so you out for uh, medical purposes. You still getting paid, right? Yeah, I broke my wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Working something. I got, oh. yeah. I broke, I had to get a plate in my wrist, bro. Plate what? my lever screw. Bro, how did you, wait, they, you mean to tell me they ran, who ran into you first off? It was some dude, I don't know the company, he was an independent. Like, you know what I mean? So it was another, it was another and, uh, truck? That ran into you? Yeah, it was another truck. Yeah, because so, I was holding the wheel. And next thing, the only thing I remember, bro, is that my, like, when I, when it, you know, when the collision stopped, mm-hmm. I couldn't raise my left hand. Like, I couldn't raise it. And then when I picked it up, it looked like a bubble, bro. Wow. Like, it so snapped. You, was you hit yeah, from my the, wrist snapped. Was you hit from the back? He came into my lane. Oh. His tail end of his trailer uh-huh. hit the uh, hit the tractor. Yeah, hit the tractor. Oh, and I'm assuming, and, like you know, when the wheel jerked, and I'm and trying the, to hold the wheel, trying to hold the wheel, it snapped your wrist. Yeah, that's oh, crazy, man. So how did that how did that make you feel now, being in your first in in, in your first big rig accident? Um, you know, and um. It was only thing I just say is just that I still I'm still going back out there. Right. And it didn't like make me like I'm not shook or anything like that. It just make you just um and then you know, I've been home since June, so it's like I'm really eager to get back. So it's like so it just make me eager to get back. It is I'm not scared. I'm it not just, scared of the road or it, it just makes you more conscious or anything like that? Yeah, you know, just try to See, I can't really say that because I mean, of course, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be more cautious and stuff like that, and just be more like you know what I mean. But it's that's one of the ones I had to answer when I get back out. But it's yeah, I, I'm not really. Um, how can I say? It? Yeah, I just you know that's just the one thing of just driving too. You know, you do got to be aware all the time. Mm-hmm. Like that's the thing about driving. Like you always, you know what I mean. Got to be aware. I definitely say I probably be on my p's and q's a lot sharper. Than, than ever probably you see what i'm saying Cause that's the first time i actually ever been in a a real collision right like you see what i'm saying like a I mean, real for, for like nine, a real for, collision. i mean you drove you you i'm going to assume you drove safely you know eight years with cisco and in a year with yeah no with coca-cola's was no accidents and then boom all of a sudden you 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 get in the big rig uh, you get in a big rig with a uh, with a with a major company, and boom, you 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 get into yeah, it, your first it, you, yeah, your it, first accident. That's yeah. you know that that yeah, and it does that, mess that, with that, your that, head. And I thought about that, right? And it it yeah, and I'm not gonna lie to you. It it had me. I will say this though, it really had me doubting the decision that I made. Mm. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I walked away, even though you want to earn it, but I walked away from a hundred thousand dollar job. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, wait a yeah. minute. Wait a minute, my G. Wait a minute. You you walked away, and I'm assuming this is Cisco. You you walked away from 100k yeah. to to what? 
about what's, I've what's, never what's made this less about than 80 grand up there. What's, what what are we looking at about maybe 60, 70 with prime, especially you gotta go you gotta go through the training. So that's gonna be like a about a okay. month or so. Uh and then you know you get a choice between uh uh a lightweight or a full weight truck depending on depending on your depending what on you your want. depending on what you want. And you already got you already got ten years, so I mean, pr- see, I, I mean, Prime thing. would have it's to Prime would have to offer me close to what I was making, bro, in order to make that jump. I, yeah, like, but see, this is the thing. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. See, this was the thing for me is that, and that's why I stayed there that time that I did. The money is good, but it's hard work. Of course like it you is. Gotta unload you gotta work. Truck. Yeah, you, you gotta... you're gonna work for that. You're gonna work for that hundred k, man. If anybody out here, listen, everybody. If anybody out here thinking that y'all gonna just make a hundred k just by sitting behind a fucking truck all damn day, you got it twisted. Yeah, yeah. Let me say yes, and let me double down on that. Is that like, yeah, like I've never made less, even in the middle of the pandemic, I still cleared 80, only working four days a week and bringing it back. Because, see, it's about overtime. So when we're doing the pandemic, I wasn't trying to stay out there. I was getting my route done and bringing it back. Because right. I'm not getting overtime. I'm only working four days a week. And I still cleared 80. You see what I'm saying? In the middle of a pandemic, I still cleared 80 grand. Mm-hmm. And I think the most I made, I just rounded it all to 100. The most I made was like 98. Like, I almost cleared that with the name. But every, like, I did, like, 98, 97, 98 for, like, three, four years, like, more than four years, five years consistently. Like, it's good money. Like, I'm not okay. going to lie, but it's a lot of, it's, a, lot, it's of a lot on your body. It's a lot of work on your body. You ain't home that much. It's, you are home in your own bed, but it's, you getting right back up and turning back around turning to head right back out again. Yeah, right. and the thing, and that's what made me want to leave and want to kind of, and that was my, and it still is my goal. Mm-hmm. I want to get my own truck. You know what I mean? And that's what made me kind of with me. So I, w- I didn't mind and I don't mind taking a step back. To move See, I don't really forward. Look at it as a step. Financially, yeah, I'm taking a step back, but I feel when I'm getting an experience, I'm taking two steps forward right. realistically. Money-wise, yeah, I am going taking a, taking a dip back. But for the experience that I'm going to get, for what I want to do, I really feel like I'm taking two steps forward. All right. That's what's up. that makes sense. That's what's up. And and, and you chose out of all the companies out here that you could have, that you could have went with because you already got, you already got 10 years in the game. I mean, you know, the only thing that these companies is looking for is that you didn't, that you don't have over the road experience but experience. but you know you still got the you still got the trucking experience you know what made you choose prime out of you know out of every every trucking company that was out there um and i'm gonna be honest i chose my three was looking at was prime snyder and creek Okay. And um, Snyder, I heard some bad stuff about Snyder. Like, not bad things, but let me not say this. Not that I heard bad things. I heard stuff I just really didn't like. Right. Because a friend of mine who left Cisco, he went with Snyder. Mm -hmm. And and actually, he went with them and leased on with them. Mm -hmm. He got his own truck and leased on with them. And he just told me he ended up leaving them because he was like, they were real strict on safety and kind of on your back a lot. Right. And I'm like, uh, I don't really want to deal with that. Okay. So I kind of, because actually I was hired with Snyder. Like, you know, I call, you know how you call the rep and they run everything for you. Right. And, and, um, and then it was Crete. I was thinking about Crete, but their terminal, who was it? It was something about Crete. I kind of just didn't, like, when I looked at their information and when I think, I think I did talk to a rep, I don't know. I just kind of had, and then, and then I ended up choosing Prime because it's, I've heard good things about Prime with they train them. Like people say, this is a good company to train with. Right. So I'm like, that's what I'm looking for. Like I'm trying to get this training experience. And then to Prime, you know, they got the three. They got the two divisions. They got three to Tanker, but I really never really thought about Tanker. And it was like I was on Reefer Division, mm-hmm. and it was like, and I was kind of you know tiptoeing that I want to do flatbed, 
or did I want to do reefer? Because, you know, I'm used to working, so that's why I'm like, eh, maybe you should do flatbed because, you know, you're used to doing the work. It's not going to kill you. You just got to learn it. You know what I mean? Like, the work not going to hurt me. It's just learning the work. You know what I mean? Okay. So, and that's why I end up choosing for Prime. That's why I end up going with Prime. I thought it just more options and better. I thought it was better training. All right. That's what's up, man. And that's where you at right now until you get back, get well. Uh, I wish you well, definitely, yeah, you know, make sure you get, you know, make sure that your hand is, is back working and everything. Hopefully they don't, uh, they, they don't, you know, they don't slide you or anything like that. You'll get right back in it. Like you never left, man. So bro, you, you're, you, you say you're a movie buff. Um, uh, you're a movie buff. You, you're, you're a gamer, uh, in everything. So I, I, I caught your post on on instagram and what's going on with instagram today man i i couldn't man do, i, just, I couldn't I was, do nothing yeah what's i mean what's yes, i mean facebook is, too like i mean this and they own that other one too what's up at they own that too oh and that's that, her, that's and, that and that's down too like well i mean what they what they that, doing uh 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 update or something what's going on i don't know i haven't heard anything about it i just know that it's down because you know what's funny you you hit me on Instagram. Right. I think you hit me on, sent me a message. Mm -hmm. And I think I tried to reply. I think that message got through. But then I replied. You know how you had your friends you send memes to and stuff. Right. And I replied to a meme. And then it kept saying, like, coming up red. So, I, yeah, it's been down, like, I think almost all day. Yeah, it's been down like, all day. I don't day. know what's I, going I, I on. Couldn't, I couldn't post. I couldn't talk to nobody. I couldn't do nothing. I had a, I had a, I had a young lady set up for today, too. And uh, uh, unfortunately, she didn't get her email to me, and you know I had to reply back to her through Messenger, and I couldn't, I could, I I couldn't get through. Couldn't nothing's going on, man. So, yeah, uh, through Instagram, you 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 posted uh, about the movie, um, The Saints of Newark. Hello. All right. Yeah. 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 That. Yeah. I'm still going down these. Uh, West Virginia Mountains. That's what's up. Yeah. Um. All right. Did you did you hear my last question before before we went? Um. Dark? You asked me about the meme that I posted and you commented on. You, but I didn't hear exactly what you said. I oh, okay. You, you know what I mean? You asked me about the meme. Okay. Yeah. So the movie, uh, the the movie that you posted about, man, the 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 Saints. What is it? The Mini Saints of Newark. Uh, a Soprano story. Yes. Now I'm I'm a Sopranos fan. I, I you know I, I'm you know I'm I'm a Sopranos fan. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm still rewatching the the you know the clips on YouTube and and you know and you know probably get an episode in every once in a while. Um, of course, everybody, including myself, you know the 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 season finale ending. You know, ended abruptly, and we we really don't know what what happened. What happened? Well, mm -hmm. With that said, before uh, James Gandolfini died, you know, may he rest in peace. Uh, before yeah. he died, there there was supposed to be a movie based on that ending. Uh, yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, he. He passed, and I guess you know they couldn't do nothing else with it. Uh, now they came out with this, the Mini Saints of Newark, and it's it's about it's about Tony Soprano as he was young. But you saw the movie, and mm -hmm. you said it was trash, bruh. What what you didn't like about yeah, the movie, man? Um. Oh man! All right, where can I start? Okay, yeah. And let me say, trash is maybe because I was very disappointed. But let me just be the. It's not a good movie. It's not. I, I just don't feel it's a good movie. It's just not a good movie. It's what I didn't like about it. It, um, it seems like it the movie. Like let me like start from the beginning where it's like it's a lot of him. Dicky, like the beginning, the whole thing about the the twins, like Ray Liotta playing the Dan, and then his, his twin is in jail, and I was kind of shaky. You don't even mention it, but I mean, sometimes you don't have to point out the obvious. 
you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then you move forward and you're watching it. He's dating. That's his guma. It's his dad's wife. And you never really see a buildup of their relationship. Okay. And then you're openly seeing, he was openly seeing his dad's wife. And nobody, there's no dialogue about that. Like, so, it just happened. So, wait. So, if I'm if I'm trying to understand you and trying to follow you, I, mm-hmm. I thought this was like, like you know, like a, a coming of age story for... Tony Soprano, like I thought it was, I thought it was going to center, I thought it was going to center around his father. Of course, you know, during the, during the seasons, it always flashed back about his father and his, and his uncle Junior. So yeah, and see, it wasn't yeah, nothing like see, that. Nah, it wasn't like, and I remember reading an article about it. Like I do remember reading an article about it, saying that the movie is supposed to be based about. Vicky Montesanti. Right. And if you watch, you re- yeah, and remember watching the show, if you go back, Vicky was Tony's, like, that was his role model. Like, that was who, he was a legend. Like, that was Vicky okay. Montesanti. Okay, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. So this, so this ain't about his father? It's really not about Tony, about it. Yeah, not, it's really it's, not so it's about, not about Tony's father, it's about, it's about uh, Christopher Montesanti's father? Exactly. That's what the movie is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about who Tony idolized. Okay. And when you watch the series, it's like, it's Tony really did idolize his Dicky Montesanti. And that's why he was so clip, so close to, to Christopher. Christopher. Right. Because he was trying to pass. He even says that, like, I think it's one of the last episodes, like, towards the last season when he's talking to Dr. Mouthy, mm-hmm. is that, you know, you, like he said, you try to pass that stuff on. Mm-hmm you know, how he was to him. So I will say this, that is a good part in the movie. You do see the connection that Dickie has with Tony. Okay. They do show that well. And I did see, I did, that's one part, I'm not going to drag the movie all the way. They did show that. Like they showed, you know, Tony, like Tony is a little kid, mm-hmm. you know, he bouncing a basketball, he trying to be, you know, always being up under Dickie. And I, and I think that they did do that well, but, a lot of other, this is another part I don't like in a movie is, and here's the one that's like kind of, kind of comparing it. You see how Goodfellas is really time, like they time jump a lot in Goodfellas. Right. But with, but what ties it all back together is that Ray Liotta narrates the movie throughout. Right. Right. With as many saints in Newark. Michael, what is his name? Imperia, uh, Empolio, mm-hmm. whatever. The guy to play Christopher. I might have got his last name wrong. He's narrating it. He's narrating it, but just a little bit. It's like it's he narrates it in the beginning, one right. little part in the middle, and then at the end. Okay. It's like it's kind of. And there was something else that I didn't like about the movie. Um, oh, how about let me say what I did like about it. I did like the fact it's um. And I don't know if you want to do the spoiler alert. No, oh, yeah, spoiler, like yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert. If you guys don't yeah, want to listen. spoiler alert. This yeah, part, yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, you know what? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. This, this episode probably might come out way after the movie has been and done. Okay, no ahead. problem. Got you. Yeah, because I don't like doing it. I don't like giving people spoilers. But spoiler alert, whatever. Uncle June sets up Dickie to get killed. And I what? did like that part. Yeah, he set him up to get killed. And Mate, now, di- wait, wait, show, wait, 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 wait. We we talking mm-hmm. Diggy we talking Diggy Montesani. Sano. Sani. Yeah. We we talking yeah. Christopher's father. And he set him up to get killed. So and wait, 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 wait. So Junior had Christopher's father killed. So when Chris mm-hmm. in the series went to go killed the cop so the cop was telling the truth he he didn't and, kill and, mm-hmm. he didn't kill his father and and that's what a part where i have to say and i'm gonna big up the movie that's where i like the i like that part about the movie because it tied into the old series and it was a good play for the movie and it was a good play to set up a future movie wow. like when you watch the sopranos when you watch the sopranos a lot of things are based on lies 
like mm-hmm. Tony, like take from this series where Tony, like with his cousin Tony Blundetto, mm-hmm. for years everybody believed that Tony, he missed that. You know, Tony was supposed to go to jail with Tony Blundetto. Right. But he missed the job because he got into an argument with his mom. Right. He told people for years that somebody jumped him. Right. But you know what tru- I mean? But the so truth it's was, like, he got into an argument the truth with his was, mother. Yeah. And just like how, like, with listening, you know, the story was that Dicky Mulcahy got killed by a guy, and they did reference that in the movie, right. guy who I cut out, right. and it was the guy was just getting revenge. Right. They said that it was a cop. Well, in the series. Yeah. In the series, you know, in they the said series, it was a cop. Right, because Tony, uh, all- outside, Tony told uh, Chris, like, yo, that's the cop that killed your father, and he was coming home yeah. with a crib for you. But mm-hmm. obviously that didn't uh, that wasn't the it case. Didn't work. Uh, okay. So and then they, when you take it one more layer mm-hmm. deeper, not to cut you off, but you take it one more layer deeper, it really shows like and that's where David Chase's genius was with the series. The Sopranos, Junior, and they didn't show about the dad too much, but Junior and Tony, yo, they were really cutthroat people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it, it kind of plays into that. Like, you know, Junior tried to get his own nephew killed. Right. Tony that, actually yeah, that set was his doing own... A ser- yeah, that was own, doing the series. Yeah. Tony set his own uncle up to get locked up by the feds. So they were really... So I like that part where Junior is killing Dicky Martin Salty because you're playing into that to the series where even though you do love these characters, but they're really grimy dudes. You know what I mean? They really cut through dudes, and they'll cut each other's throat right. to get to step over somebody. Right. So I did like that about the series, and also too, they played that in the movie too, where when uh, Johnny Boy came home, this is from the movie, mm-hmm. when Johnny Boy came home, he mentioned to Junior, he's like, "Hey man, why couldn't you run my crew like how Dicky runs his crew?" Mm-hmm. Junior didn't like that. So you know what I mean? And so, it's, so do you think? So do you think? Uh, do you, do you think, being that you say that, the, you know, the movie, you know, was it it played to what you like and it played to what you didn't like. Do you think they're gonna mm-hmm. you, do? Do you think uh any part of the movie like the ending or anything like that? You you think they're gonna it it you you think they're gonna be a part two to it or something like that? Um, I think the way with. The way they did with Junior, they saying they showed that Dickie killed Junior, and Junior like, kid. I think it is. I think, yeah, I think they did set it up for it to be a um for it to be another movie, or maybe another series or another movie. I kind of hope it do so it can kind of redeem itself from it. Like I kind of hope it does because it's. Yeah, I kind of hope, I hope, yeah, I'm hoping that it does. And I also say about the movie, too, it's, it was just, the part I don't like about the movie is that how it, the the movie didn't flow well. But I will say they hit a lot of home run on characters. Like the guy that played Junior, boom, they hit a home run with that. I like that guy. He played in a lot of other series, too. And I forget his name. And the woman that played Olivia, his mom, that was another home run. I think they picked somebody who, when you compare it to the series, to the movie, it matches. You know, the guy that played Paulie, Paulie Walnut, that character matches him. That does look like, and it gives you a feel of a young Paulie. So I'm hoping that, and this is just a fan in me, hoping that they carry on another movie and it kind of keeps building towards that. All right, all right. Many Saints of Newark. Well, about time, like I said, about time, you know, about time this comes out. <laughs> about time this comes out, we, you know, the movie probably would have, would have, uh, would have, would have faded. But it's good to, it's, it's good to get a, it's good to get a mini review from a trucker's point of view, bro. I appreciate that. Appreciate um, it, man. Thank you for coming on, man. I really appreciate you chopping it up with me. You are a citizen now, so anytime you want to come on, man, and and uh, sit back, relax, or even when we, when you get back to work, man, let us know. Uh, let us know how it goes down with you. No problem, man. I definitely, man. And you know, we got each other's contact. Just hit me up. You talking about something? 
Just let me know, bro. No uh, problem, man. Uh, no doubt, man. No doubt. You know, we come up with uh, we come up with topics all the time, man. You know, we we just got finished talking about the R. Kelly thing, and yeah, that yeah. But uh, but yeah, man. We come up with some. We'll we'll get back together. All right, no problems, man. All right, bro. You take it easy. I'll holler at you later. 